All right, so uh, I'm gonna prepare the, the bodies for finish. And I'll start out by sanding, smoothing things out uh, with 220 sandpaper. And then once I do that, I'm gonna clean it all up and then I'm going to fill the grain. Now you don't, you wanna fill the grain on any soft wood where you can see the pores. This is mahogany, so you definitely want to fill the grain. Otherwise, if you stain, you'll get uneven staining. If you paint, uh, that grain pattern is going to telegraph into your paint. You're not going to have a smooth finish. I'm going to use Solaris. I live in Hilo, it's very humid. And so this has been like a, a game changer. Uh, instead of waiting hours and days for a lot of coats, uh, this will be cured in the sun. I'll just take it out. It cures in about three minutes. If it's overcast, it might take four or five minutes. It's that simple. Uh, I've got, I'm going to add a grain filler and uh, to this, I'm going to try it out. Uh, I have been experimenting with uh, the Solares UV Cure products for a while, and they seem to be working. I'm going to try something new. I'm going to add a little bit of this uh, grain filler that I color tone grain filler neutral that I picked up from Stu Mac. I'm going to mix that in, and I'll show you that when we get to that point. We're going to apply that with an old credit card or you know, they have uh, special uh, squeegees made for this also, but uh, this, it's not that difficult to do. We're just going to um, try to work this green sealer and filler into the pores, cure it, and then we'll sand it again with uh, 320 grit uh, sandpaper. So that's what we're going to do now. So I'll get uh, a sanding block ready here, use a foam block, and then we'll start prepping the body uh, for grain filling. Okay, here we go. You'll notice I'm wearing gloves, not only to protect my hands, but throughout the whole process of finishing the guitar, you don't want to get oils from your hand on the wood, uh, especially before spraying or staining. Okay, so here we go. I also want to look and make sure that there's no dents or anything that I have to fill. And if I do, I'll fill it. So we just want to smooth it out a bit. We're gonna, and we want to sand with the grain always. Cutting up these uh, flotation noodles are great for uh, getting into tight spots. Looking good. Get the other one now. Okay, we'll clean up some of this wood dust. There we go. I'm actually not too concerned 
with getting all of this uh, wood dust off because uh, you know if it, if it uh, gets uh, filled or helps to fill in uh, with the uh, sanding sealer filler it's fine that it'll be mahogany dust going into mahogany along with the grain filler and that's what I'm trying to do is fill the grain okay so now on to the next step is we'll be getting the solar as sanding sealer and uh, the filler ready. Okay, I'll go ahead and pour some of the solar as sanding sealer in here. And I don't have to worry about it too much if I overdo it because this is only gonna cure in UV light as long as uh, I keep it sealed, if I mix up too much, uh, it'll be fine. Now I'm gonna mix in some of this grain filler, which is just, it's, a, it's like a fine sawdust. We'll see how that goes. Get it mixed in there really well. And then I'm going to apply this the bodies pour a little bit on and then start working it in I'll do one side at a time run out and I'll expose this in the sun for about Three minutes aside. Just work it in really good with an ample amount. It'll it'll soak in. already starting to soak in pretty good just drip it on make sure to get your edges I'll also use a foam brush to get into some of the corners. And edges. Make sure you get everywhere on the body. Then you can kind of smooth it down so you got less sanding to do once you get this uh, all coated. But make sure you get a good coat. And we're almost there with this side. Smooth it out. You want to get rid of any runs or anything. You don't want you don't want it globbing up on you. And I got some in the cavity. That's okay. 
All right. Main thing is you wanna do a good job at filling the grain. Okay. I'm gonna run out and cure this side. And I will cover this up. There is a bit of UV rays hitting the deck here. All right, I exposed it for about four minutes out in the sun. It's already done. This uh, solar res is great stuff. So I'll go ahead and now coat the other side and do the same thing. This sands pretty easily. You'll see that in a moment. Let's put that on the other guitar. Just want to make sure everything is sealed everywhere. And I don't want any big globs or anything like that, you know, so I don't want to make it harder for myself. go ahead and expose that side both bodies are are sealed and grain filled and this really sands nicely you can see that it really powders up so what I'll do is I'll go through and I'll smooth this down with uh, 320 sandpaper always looking for blemishes if I see any areas that I might want to fill some more, I will, but uh, it only took me about a half an hour to take care of both of these bodies uh, using the UV Cure Sanding Sealer, Solarex. And um, you probably would have been faster if I hadn't been shooting video. Next, the next video, next step, I'll be smoothing these down and using a a damp cloth to raise the grain and sand down some more and then decide whether I'm going to stain or paint or maybe do one of each. I haven't decided yet. But uh, the, these two bodies are now nicely grain filled and ready for the next finishing step before painting or staining. <laughs> 